Uh, six from six at 100%. Helen House, we yet to put a shot up. Contact goal defence. Penalty outside the goal circle with the goal defence. Vantage outside centre. Stay out of the circle. Well, oh, nice screen from Grayson Wicky. You get the feeling England just scoring a little more easily than the New Zealanders. When they keep it short and they ping it and stop oh. doing long cross-court balls like that. Well, that's the Watson of old. To be fair, though, I could have got that interested. <laughs> Anything that long in the air is fairly well telegraphed. So first time in the game, New Zealand is ahead. New Here's Zealand that ball Zealand. a long time across the court in the air. You can see it on Nat Medcalf's face. All too easy. Throw in England, goal well, circle. that's a poorly directed pass from the New Zealand attack. Someone's got to come forward again. New Zealand want this high ball and England continue to throw it. Contact goal attack, no goal. Uh, that's goal interesting. Well, I was chatting to those two women the other day. They've come all the throw way from England, England for the series. Throw in. It's throw dedication. In. Let's go now to sideline again. Mumpo, what have you got? Oh, I'm just seeing some really spectacular defence being put up by the English side. Both sides, actually, but at the moment, the attacking side of uh, England is just making the work a bit easy, as uh, Cox has already alluded to. But the defence has been set up quite high up. They're forcing them to play the short passes, not allowing them to give the good feeds. So I do suspect that uh, the coach, you know, of uh, New Zealand, Tarua, might make a change on the attacking side because somebody's got to have to start giving the longer ones just to open up the space because the shooter's not moving out. And with this defence that's been putting up, they're going to really have a lot of struggles because they're going to have to play the short ball all the way till the edge of the circle. But the way that England has just been positioning themselves on the centre passes and just the defensive end has just been outstanding. Well, Mampa, we'll have to wait and see if what you predict comes true, Re, the changes from Dave Nolene Torua. But this is a good little run from New Zealand. New Zealand, very strong starters. They have won both of their first quarters in the last two games. Took them a while to wrestle control, though, didn't it? Just inside the circle. Yes, there. Helen Housby's first shot of the game. There's the swing across the court, and you can see how easy it is for the tips to come. And it's interesting, isn't it, that that's Housby's first sh uh, shot of the match. She's got a bit of a reputation for coming and going in games. Well, talk about coming and going. Eleven seven, just under four minutes remaining. Oh, and there's the same at the other end for Cardwell. Yeah, some good vision then, and instead of forcing it to the pocket, direct to the post. Another turnover here for England, so they can score in the centre pass to follow. They're back in this quarter. Contact wing with the shoulder, with the wing defence. Oh, good work from Carter Cup. And a couple of rejections early. You don't see that. Okay. There was one from okay. Mentor moments ago up the other end. Offside wing defence. Inside the circle is the pass. Well, talk about Inside. pressure on the pass. It's just a pass only. Remember, she can't shoot. Wing defence obstruction outside. Aaron Berger needs to outside. be perhaps a little careful here. Contact. Yes. We've ever seen plenty of warnings, haven't we, and cautions throughout this quad series. The last thing you want to do is 
put yourself on notice to the umpires. They forced the error oh, earlier, the break by Tapia Selby Rickett. They were closing in. And then something like that. Yeah, well, six general play turnovers for the Roses so far in the first quarter. Jess Thirlby will not be happy with that at all. That's the Berger Fano. Get it and Alma, Karen Berger's parents. They will. Oh, great rejection from the Doju. Sadly for England, it was straight into the arms of New Zealand. So again, New Zealand, watch this. Great straight up. But Kate Heffernan's there to collect. Here come England again. Oh, that's poetry. Much smarter work from England. It was straight through the middle from Carboyle. It was flat. The connection to Housby flat as well. There it is. And that'll put Housby on the board for another. Heffernan waiting. And that's the one, the shooter-to-shooter -shooter connection. So 14-10, just over a minute remaining in this first quarter. Yeah, smarter work then from Helen Housby until she takes out her own teammate. <laughs> Bit of friendly fire. Oh, Alison, she looks like she's been well dragged through a bush Contact backwards. On the arm. On the arm. <laughs> Contact all people. Well, three from three for Helen Houseby in this quarter, but is it enough? A well, long way back, so good defensive pressure here from the Roses. So they push out again, New Zealand. Plenty of time here. Construction goal attack. Ah, New Zealand now, they need to push England back. They need to slow them down. The house Cardwell, rather. Oh, ho, ho. cold as you like. Well, that's what she's known for. New Zealand. And that is a good finish for England to the first quarter.